if I get written word, you guys stay here. We'll continue on in this room. Okay, so we'll get on the way with head coach uh, Josh Nanaski team for the weekend. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the team to start, Ireland versus USA, will be uh, Dave Kilcoyne at one, Niles Scannell, Finlay Bealham, Tyg Byrne and Ian Henderson, Reese Ruddock, Geordie Murphy and Jack Conan. And the back line will be John Cooney, Joey Carberry, Darren Sweetnam, Stuart McCloskey, Gary Ringrose, Andrew Conway and Will Addison. And the replacements will be Rob Hearing, Ken Healy, John Ryan, Quinn Roo, Josh Van der Fleer, Luke McGrath, Ross Byrne, and Sam Arnold. Um, a, there's some tired lads from last week, and, and B, it was probably always part of the plan. Um, you know, the, the two games that bookended this particular series gave us an opportunity to, to broaden the squad. We had 43 players in total and we wanted to make sure that we got a look at all 43 players at some stage and that we, uh, we gave them all an opportunity. Uh, you know, it's fantastic that they've, they've taken that opportunity in the main. Uh, they've taken responsibility for really positive preparation and, and hopefully we can, we can finish this, this bracket of four games on, on a positive note on, on Saturday. <laughs> um, yeah, John. First of all, has had to be pretty patient. Uh, you know, he hasn't had too much of a, a of an opportunity so far. So for for John, this will be his first real start. So it means that the last couple of trainings, he's had more of a portion of the of the training time with the the you know shadow fifteen, and that gives him a little bit more rhythm. Obviously, he acquitted himself really quickly in Ulster. He got up to speed quickly. He, uh, he started the season again this year really positively, and I think he's, he's, he's made a really positive impact there, and we're hoping he can do the same here. His kicking game strong. Uh, he, uh, he, he has a very sharp pass, and um, you know, I, I, I'm hoping we're going to see the benefits of both those skills on that side of the ball in the weekend, and he's, he's a resolute defender. He's a smart defender and covering the, the space behind as well as filling in in the front line. Yeah, they, they've known each other for a while, so hopefully they sink very quickly. I think it's always hard to expect that to happen straight away. I know there were a few frustrations in that first half against Italy with uh, new combinations and s sort of a fairly brief training time. We've had a little bit more time to train, but a, a lot of those guys have been helping to prepare other starting players. So for them now to get onto the front foot, hopefully they can do that from the very off. Um, yeah, it's really easy just to keep going um, because it, you're always busy with preparation. You, you, know, you only have to look at some of the threats that the American team have and, and then you're scrambling to get our combinations right. It, it, it certainly fills your day very, very quickly. So there's not too much referencing of last week. It, it has mostly been um, around what we want to do and then a, a, about making sure that we're conscious of just how good the American team is. You know, they're the only unbeaten international side uh, <laughs> that I can think of this season. Uh, I think they're nine from nine. Therefore, you know, it's especially putting into context their win against Scotland during uh, the summer. If you're not absolutely on the money, you know, uh, then there's a big risk for us. So it, it certainly helps focus the mind, focus the training, and, and allows you to leave behind last week as, as special as it was for us. You know, I, I did give the players an extra half a day off as a result of that, which is, is pretty huge. Uh, yeah, it, it's just important uh, that I just fit into the team. It's last week we talked about the, the collective nature of our team trying to be better than New Zealand, uh, and it's just important just to keep learning. So, in the last few weeks, uh, it's, it's good to be back in with Joe. I was in in the summer, so it's just getting up to, up to date with uh, all the plays and stuff like that, and it's just fitting into the team, like I said, and 
and just doing my basics, passing, kicking well, and if opportunities open up, that's exactly what I need. So, yeah, it's just about doing what I can for the collective and making the team better. So. Yeah, and you know, to be fair to Quinn Roo, I, I thought he, he probably had his best performance for us against Italy. He, he was probably you know a bit of a standout in that performance. So you know, to build, to keep building those five, and um, there, there will be a bit of shared time for, for Quinn to get an opportunity as well. Tiger's slotted in so well, uh, coming off the bench a couple of times in Australia, uh, being part of the, the you know the broader squad, even on match day doing the warm up. He's got closer and closer, and I thought Ian Henderson came on and did really well last week. Um, you know, he, he's had a, a massive shift in responsibility, in which can be a distraction to a player. He, as a physical athlete, he has not too many peers, um, certainly not in this country, but he's had the responsibility of calling the line out, and, and you know, that, that can play on his mind a little bit. So, you know, we want to keep, keep building that so he gets more and more comfortable doing that because we don't want to be reliant on one or two callers. We want to make sure that as many of our second rows can call as possible. Yeah, not only has he settled on uh, on the pitch, but he's, he's settled in off the pitch as well. He's, he's very much uh, an easy, easy-going character. Um, certainly not on opposition ruck ball. He's very tough to move then, and he's uh, he's got a real, inst really instinctive feel for the game. I think you know some of his running lines, uh, his ability to get into the right defensive positions. Yeah, that that are things that are a little bit intuitive, which is really nice as a coach having someone who who most of the time knows where to be and and knows the right decision to make, and then backs it up with really good, um, you know. Physical athleticism. Yeah, it's, I, I think Sammy is a, a player who has some raw talent, and we're just continually trying to hone and and probably fine tune that raw talent. And and so is Sammy. One of the things that impresses me the most about Sammy is just how hard he works off the pitch, so he can deliver on it. And you know what he's committed to the team in preparation last week and, and in the other preparation windows that he's been involved in, that you know, he's really rolled his sleeves up and earned this opportunity to, to get off the bench and, and get his first cap. And you know, he, he is probably a, a selection for the future right now. Um, that's his challenge. He, he needs to be the right now, demonstrate that all the learning that he has really uh, try to embed, that can, that can be... Uh, Visible on the pitch. Uh, I just I, w I wanted uh, Stu to get in between a couple of ball players, but challenge him to be a ball player as well. Um, you know, I, I think we know he's a ball carrier. We know how strong he is. Um, I, I think uh, Paul Lasecki is one of the few men in world rugby that is actually bigger than him and is in his face-to-face -face, uh, kind of positional uh, challenge that, that he will face. Uh, I think he's about 116 kilos, um, ex-Chicago Bears player, and, and a very, very uh, talented-looking player. So that in itself and his ball carry is going to be a challenge, but also his ability to link and, uh, and I think his, his ability to stay connected defensively and make some really good de uh, defensive decisions. I thought Gary Ringrose was outstanding last week not just in, in the tackle delivery, but in linking with Bundy and making sure that we close down what is an incredibly uh, difficult team to close down through that middle of the pitch. So th those are the challenges for Stu. At the same time, you know, we're, we're looking forward to seeing him deliver uh, his strengths, but, but challenging him on those, on those things that we've seen improve through, uh, through his performances in Ulster. Take last couple. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's a decision that 
will probably not be finalised till Sunday, really. But it's uh, it's a decision that has been a long time coming, um, and uh, you know, the family I, I have probably committed most to is is. Is this family that I, I, I live with in Carton House as much as it is the family I have at home? And so, you know, we've we've put our heads together and, and tried to reconcile how we can best, you know, maybe cater for both. So it'll be options again again. Uh, yeah, I, I think certainly early next week. Um, I'd, I'd like to be able to take a deep breath on Sunday and 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 then, you know, I, I know I can't continue to just go backwards and forwards because I, I to be honest I've I beat myself up enough about this decision I, I I'm probably going to be the the, ple the most pleased of, of anyone when uh, when it when it finally is is made no, not really. I, I, I have had uh, a fair bit to do in in the past when um, you know when Phil Doyle was coaching and and, uh, and and then when Tom Tierney was coaching, just uh, in in liaising with them and, and chatting with them. And I know Adam very well. He was in the Leinster environment when uh, when I was coaching Leinster. So uh, I've had a couple of chats with him, but nothing specific this week. Um, to be honest, I I kind of. Feel like I've been playing catch up all week. We put a, a heck of a lot into last week, and it's we didn't really look beyond last week because, well, you, you just can't afford to, can you, when you're playing that team? So, um, yeah, we've been scrambling a little bit this week, but we're, we're probably pretty comfortable with how we've we've gathered a bit of momentum through the trainings we've had. And uh, the one thing I would say to Grigsy is, is uh, you know, what a fantastic opportunity, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. Okay, folks, we'll just shut down this bit.